Hello, hello, beautiful sisters. How are you? I'm just checking that we're alive. And we are. Don't you just... Isn't it interesting every time you see people come on and they're looking around and they're, they're waiting they're waiting for you to... People to come on. It's like, just start already. Just start. All right. So I'm just going to jump in regardless of if anyone comes on um, soon. So welcome. First of all, Happy New Year. Happy New Year 2022. Have you got your word? I've got a couple of things. This might be a little bit longer today. Your word, a couple of things to talk about. But um, every every month, actually, every month I actually choose a theme or a, or a word. And sometimes I'll do a 12 card spread as well. So I actually did one uh, on the first. And that can give you some indicators if you're looking for your own word. And then overall, there's a, there's a word for the year. So I don't actually have mine just yet. So it's still coming in. I'm not forcing it. I'm just like, normally I'm like, yes, I need to get that word. And, but I'm just waiting. I'm waiting for it to, I'm waiting to receive it. I'm waiting for it to show up. So, but if you have your word, let me know. Let us know. Post in the post that was on the page. And again, welcome to all the brand new sisters that have come into our community. I know a lot of you have come in with the gift marking book guide. You've downloaded that. I am going to make a couple of, well, I'm not going to make changes to it, but somebody actually said to me, oh, could you actually put up some real hand examples? But if you have got the guide, you will be getting emails as well. And I've got some actual real life example so you can check your own hands so that's coming up with that and then a lot of you are coming in for our live series five ways to uncover your gifts and talents so you can get paid for your purposeful work and it's all to do about your purpose identifying your purpose using scientific hand analysis and just the magic that is in here that's been in our hands the whole time and getting you activated with that but that's a little while that's about three weeks off so in the meantime, we get to uh, get to get acquainted with you, get to know all about you and the group as well. Hello, Tamara. Good to see you. Beautiful up in the Sunshine Coast. <laughs> Lovely. So, and each week, there's a, there's a few things that I do consistently each week, right? So we do the, um, today I'm doing the weekly purpose message. And the purpose message just really comes from, I've got many, many, bye-bye, many, many uh, decks that I have and um, oracle decks. And today I am using, hello Kaya, the Starseed Oracle, the Starseed Oracle. And this is a brand new one for me actually. And um very beautiful deck one of my friends she I, I think i've used it in here once before but am i doing it sorry my daughter um no in the car the oh, lead's in the car nice. no that's <laughs> it's not a lead really? my daughter's taking the dog for a walk so anyway okay bye bye and so this is the beautiful deck of all about the star seed i did not know anything about star seeds before well, I kind of had an inkling about them, but I'm like, oh, what are these star seeds? So my friend bought it for me. So I'm picking them from there. Now, before we start, this is a long winded. Hello, kia ora, Kaya. And say hello if you're coming on and if you are watching the replay later on. So I'm ch changing up a little couple of things. Um, I'm, before we get in there, this beautiful spray, Happy Days, Happy Days from the Essence Alchemist, Kimmy Mack beautiful beautiful sprays and this is actually these are the god essence oils the roll-on oils that i actually have there, this there are seven of them named after a goddess and also relate to the chakras and i was just wondering and, and maybe this is for you you know a lot of people in here a lot of the sisters in here have been on this lifelong journey of healing that a lot of you are healers you're doing your work with with people and learning about the different, you know, I remember learning about chakras oh, 15 years ago. And then it comes to a point, you know, and, and doing Reiki and all those beautiful things like that. And it's like, wow, is that still, is that still applicable? I don't know where I'm going with this, but it's just coming. Is this still applicable? And I'm just thinking, wow, I haven't really done a lot of the 
the goddess work or a lot of the chakras specifically like it's always in my fields i'm always using that but like really focusing on it and i went oh this is what i'm going to do this bringing these uh in and i'm thinking you know with all the different vibrations as we're as the vibrations lifting and people are like everybody's going to a new level or old methods need to be left behind as i'm rubbing this on my show on myself so i went no i think they need to come back i think i need to be focused more on these and bring them and see which way they lead me in my purpose so maybe you've been thinking that too you know thinking of some old books that you've read or some old not and they're not old as such there's a there's a new filter of you looking through a lot of the work that you've done in your self-development and your healing and your spiritual work that it's like oh i need to go back I need to go back just to see with new eyes just because I've done a full circle and then see what that means what that what the message is for me with that sorry with that I'm using goddess Kali today Kali is the Indian the Hindu goddess of destruction and she clears the way if she comes into your life she is here to clear the way sometimes it feels very upsetting if it's too fast it's very pluto it's very pluto in the hands there's a the kali kali energy but she's really here to get rid of old ways of being and it's based on the base chakra so it's your you know how solid you are on the earth on the planet right now so if you if you're kind of a little bit wobbly put on wear some red underwear go and get a red crystal eat red food but then there's this also this oil here this mix i love it it's beautiful it's one of my favorites out of the seven even though it's like picking children you never have a favorite child do you no you don't <laughs> you love them all equally okay so yes yes tamara it has been it has it's really been clearing out and now so interesting as we're just waiting, aren't we? Aren't we lovely? We're just waiting for <laughs> the new the new stuff to come through. So one, two, or three. Let's pick your cards. Like you can you can have them all or you can choose one, two, or three. And I'm going to read some of this because I'm these are new cards for me. And also I'll, I'll interpret in my way. So the first card that has come out is called it actually wasn't that one, it's this one here activated earth look at that activated earth let me show you that so this the stones the stars is it mountains the lake very earth and you know that's the same as as the base chakra it's about being connected to the earth not being way up and kind of in fantasy land but being grounded on the planet uh, and even when I talk about star seeds, it's so interesting. Like, oh yes, you know, I was never into star seeds or different planets or different galaxies. I'm like, well, why wouldn't there be? Like, we're not. <laughs> we why wouldn't there be? You take this with a grain of salt. You don't have to believe what I say. So, but I'm just thinking, yeah, there's a bit bigger universe out there for us, right? And that's all. So, activated Earth, and it says power, power places, ley lines, trust where you're led trust where you are led so the ley lines are invisible pathways on the land along which energy travels they can be sensed when we tune into them with our subtle senses also known as spirit paths they've been compared to the meridian lines in the body system you know the meridian lines that are if you're into chinese medicine you've got all these meridian lines well the ley lines are on the on the on earth and you can also you've seen those people a lot of uh, Maoris well I don't know about you Kai like um, with my grandfather and that they had the sticks they had the sticks that would point to different ley lines where the energy is okay so I think in the Aboriginal culture so in Australian Aboriginal culture song lines were the paths traveled by the Creator being as they made the land and the sea during the dreaming and these paths were recorded in the traditional songs and dances of the people, allowing them to access information about the land's history and whether it was safe to travel across great distances. So many believe that we visit such sacred points on earth, something is activated within us, like going to Uluru, right? Uh, uh, going to, I mean, what, what's the, um, I've forgotten what the place over in the us is 
been such a city. It is so. Anyway, you know the place. It's kind of like so, and you feel the energy there. So you've got a, a an Oliver's Hill in the sand now. Oh yes, yeah. The and the energy, the energy. And so it's been, so this card, if you chose the first card, Activated Earth, you are being called as the crow is, can you hear that? The crow's screeching outside, again, confirmation. Are you being called to travel to a sacred place, right, that your soul remembers, or to tend to the land that you live on, to acknowledge and honour the, the known and the unknown keepers of the nature spirits of the land, as you connect with the earth and honour its keepers, the land opens up more fully to you, to hold you and provide you with nourishment. So how good is that if you've chosen that one? Yes, it's, it's like you're being pulled. So if you have chosen this card, like just go, like go into yourself and just feel where am I being called to? Who am I being, who am I being called to? Right? Is there a message that that person has to give me? Or is it just to go out on the land and stay on the land and re-energize through that? And the star seed activation. Place the card or the, on, on the portal of your heart and whisper the following. So just imagine this is on your heart. I honor and thank the keepers of the earth beneath me, known and unknown. Thank you for your nourishment and tender holding. Mm, beautiful. Love that one, right? So that is the first card, activation, activated earth. So moving to the second one, this is very beautiful as well. They are so gorgeous and it comes in this amazing um, set. So you, you get your card, actually I'll put that one on there. You can stick them in, oh, I'm doing it backwards. You stick them in like that and you've, you've got them out the side. So it's very beautiful. That was, this set is from Big W. For those who are not in Australia, Big W is kind of like um, Walmart, I'm guessing. So, number two is forge, don't follow. Forge, don't follow. Look at that. So you can see the beautiful goddess sister down the bottom there. She's looking out into the future. It's kind of like this chasm in between. It looks quite dangerous, really. Um, but it says, the message is, pave a new path, be the leader you wish you had. Okay, so if you wait until the path is perfectly paved, you won't be forging your own path. Haven't we heard that before? You, you, and you'll likely not even take the first step. Don't let a small detail like being unable to find someone to show you the way be the reason you don't step forward and lead. Let it be the reason that you do. So the most courageous and needed leaders are the ones who don't wait for permission. So if you had the second card, it is time to forge forward. And there's a, I've talked about this. I want to read more about this. In the hands, in the hands. So if you look at your hands and if you, this is your headline, and this is your lifeline. I've got this itchy thing here. And if there's a sip, if it's separated, no, don't worry if it's not, it's, I mean, if it is, if it's not, hang on, if it's separated like this, this is a similar meaning, forward, forward, it means that you think outside the box, so if you, um, you're supposed to be the leader, you're supposed to be the trailblazer, so there's no sense in waiting for somebody, it's you, it's actually you, so let's keep going on with this. So take a deep breath, put one foot in front of the other and figure it out as you go. So I was speaking to a friend of mine and she's like, she's always going, oh, what, what, what if this is going to happen? Or I need this to look like this before I commit to this. And sometimes yes, and sometimes it's like, no, that's way too, too much information to give to the universe to set that up. It's just like, hold that intention. And where are you trusting yourself that you can actually take that leap? Right? It's like, I'll do it when. I'll do it when everything's perfect. Well, I just call BS on that. It's just not, nothing is perfect. So if you've had the second card, it's like you are ready to step up. This card is for the leaders. You're here to pave the path that has not been walked before. And that's scary to go first and lead the way for others who are calling you in. If you feel misrepresented, misrepresented in the media, 
That's interesting. Step forward for all of those who feel misrepresented. Ah, yes, okay. If no one's speaking out on the topics you feel passionate about, share your unique voice. So answer these questions. So this is the thing, right? You have probably have an idea, if, even if it's for a new program or a new healing modality or just something that you want to do. It is your time to step forward and forge. Forge is, to me, is like foraging, like coming, not just going full ball in, because the, the time of the gurus and the time of the, you know, oh, looks holier than thou, follow that leader, is pretty much gone. But you being called to step up in your leadership is a different thing, right? You're not here to be, oh, all that kind of, let's bow down. It's just follow the way, guys. Hey, it's over here. Like forge through, like have fun. So it says, there's no one on earth who comes close to possessing your unique combinations of skills, gifts, and life experience. Don't look to those who have come before you to work out your path. Leaders must forge their own. Do it for your daughter. Do it for the younger you. Do it for the leaders who follow. So leaders following you. When you go first, you make it easier for others to follow your lead. Forge, don't follow. So asking this question, how are you being called to forge rather than follow? How can the leader, how can you be the leader you wish you had? All right, that's very intense. Very, very intense. So awesome. So our third one today. Hello, Donna, good to see you. This is a beautiful one also. And it is trust the timing. Look at that. Trust the timing. Hello, Nala. She's been for a walk. She's <laughs> trust the timing. And it says, trust the wave you came in on. Time is not running out. Time is not running out. So it's so interesting. I always say, you know, time is an illusion. And sometimes we think we have all the time in the world to do that thing. But there's still some we believe. So we put it off and put it off. But this is some kind of saying time is not running out. So that's nice. So often, those who feel like they're here for a reason sense that time is running out. Pretty much everybody in here, right? We're like, we know there's a purpose. We know that I've got a purpose. I've got meaning. Um, and more so with, well, actually, people in the school of service, I'll talk about this when we do the hand thing, they have their core fear is disappointing the universe, right? And they always feel time is running out because they've got this hand on the back of their shoulder saying, come on, get with it, get with it, get with it. So you may be feeling this too. So, um, and after spending your life worrying that they may miss the moment, right? But the only way to miss your life or your moment is to spend your time worrying about missing it, right? It's like, don't worry about it, just go for it. It's never too late to answer a calling and you're never too old. The tides of your life are magnificently orchestrated to come in and out in perfect unison. Don't raise a head and ride a wave that was never meant for you. And so this is a thing, like check in. Again, check in. Your body is your barometer. It knows what path you are supposed to be on. I was watching, um, I don't know, I watch many things. And the person, I think it was being interviewed, and, and they're like, well, how do you know if you're going from fear or if you're making a decision from fear or not, or from your spirit? And I can't remember, I think it was, he, he, she said, the fear will feel like it's too easy. Like the fear will be, it'll be that decision of like, oh yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm scared of doing that, don't do it. It's, yeah, put that to the side. Whereas the, the answer from spirit will be ambiguous. It'll be like, oh, it'll be exciting, but it'll be a little bit scarier. I don't know if that makes sense to you, but it made sense to me when I heard it. I went, oh yeah, the fear's going to just you know, hit you down, like cut you under your, I'm, I'm seeing a vision of knocking your legs from underneath you with falsity, but over here, spirit's going, come on, you can do it, that's exciting, right? They're never just going to go, yes, do it. Anyway, so let's carry on. So don't let impatience, com comparison, competition, or paranoia disturb the seeds. It seems that everybody has anxiety these days. No shit. Constantly scanning for something they might have missed or a possible threat. Keeping in keeping your mind and body pointed in the same direction as your soul is near impossible at such reactive speeds. But right now, you're being reminded to take a breath, 
and trust the wave you came in on, to trust the season you're in. Time isn't running out, there's plenty of time, there's no rush, it's never too late, right? And the Starseed Soul Inquiry, how can you trust the timing of your life a little more? So I'm seeing in here, right, she's, these beautiful, I don't know what kind of, if they're trees or kind of ant hills or, or whatever, but you, she's standing here. And the timing, so I always look at the timing, I don't know if you look at timing with numerology as well, um, and I'm currently, I posted this before, in a one year, officially starts in March, but it's the new year, so so that whole cycle, so timing is everything, right, so trusting that timing, so last year was all about ending, like finishing things up, um, I ended one of my programs last year to to focus on a new one this year. Um, relationships ended for me last year, L lots of endings, but not in a bad way. Like if you know your timing and your cycle, then you can welcome it and it's not so heavy, even though it can be sad. Yeah, like you know, some of it's let letting anything go can be sad. But trusting the timing that you are on. Is this your timing? Is this the right time for you? I don't know, but you can feel that in yourself. So those are the cards, lovely. I know this is a bit of a, a longer one today. In the new year, we've got activated earth, the power places, ley lines, trust where you're being led, follow the breadcrumbs. We've got forge, don't follow, be your own leader. It's your time, be your own leader. And trust the timing. All beautiful, aren't they? All right, gorgeous ones, that's it from me. Keep in touch. There'll be lots more happening in the weeks ahead. And I hope you're, if you're still on holiday, have a great holiday and we'll be seeing you soon. Okay, bye for now.